the next 10 days, I'm going to make some videos talking about frequency because everyone knows what they need to do to raise their vibration so that they can feel better and be more effective out in the world. But what's not really talked about is the science behind it, what's actually going on and why it's important. So that's what I wanna to touch on. I wanna go a little bit deeper into it. I know there are probably doubters out there that say, who cares about frequency? It, you know, it, it's, it's not even a real thing. It's a hippie dippy weird thing. Well, maybe, but what do you think causes a crystal glass to shatter when the opera singer hits a certain tone? It's because that note that she's singing matches the frequency of the crystal that causes it to shatter. If you talk to an engineer at John Deere Tractors, they can tell you that they have in the past had engines that if they vibrate at a specific frequency, it will cause the driver to release their bowels. It's kind of important. Or engineer that designs bridges, they know that if the wind comes whistling through and creates just the right vibration, the right frequency, that the bolts will loosen and the bridge will collapse. These things happen all the time. And so frequency is important. I've been attacked for saying that there are frequencies that can dissolve cancer tumors. Why wouldn't there be? It's the same exact thing. If you measure the frequency of the cancer tumor and then you produce the same exact frequency, just like the crystal glass, it's going to shatter, it's gonna dissolve. And a cancer tumor does not vibrate at the same frequency as all the cells around it. I mean, anyone who's ever had cancer or watched someone with cancer, you're well aware that those cells are nothing like the cells around them or anything else. They definitely, that's a rogue element. It's completely separate. So yes, you should be able to match a frequency to a cancer cell and target it specifically without the other cells even noticing. If this is true, how can you, without straining yourself whatsoever, make a difference in your life by putting positive frequencies in. Well, solfeggio frequencies are a great place to start. Put it at the bottom of this video on the page. If you're interested, you can go online, you can read all about solfeggio frequencies, what they are, how they work, what specific frequencies are used for, and you can start to use them in your daily life and you will see the difference. If someone isn't feeling well, put 528 frequency, it's a DNA repair. If you are feeling spacey or not grounded, you run around outside with your shoes off, but then do it while listening to 432 Hertz. Also, the 432 Hertz works really well for children who are having nightmares or um, animals that are in the car going to the vet. You have cats and they're freaking out. Put on classical music at a 432 frequency and you're gonna see a difference. <laughs> Once I start talking, I won't stop. So I, I just wanna leave it at that. Check out Solfeggio frequencies it'll make a big difference and I know there are probably a lot of people out there that already know all about it but are you using it are you actively using all the tools that you have they're so easy and passive you can put them on while you're sleeping making sure that you balance them between the right and left hemispheres of your brain you know either headphones or at least a equal speakers equidistant from your head on either side of the bed would also work really well Just give it a try and I hope to see you back here tomorrow come back and check out the videos because I think it'll be fun you might get little tidbits of trivial information and it will also help you feel better and be more effective with your manifestations and in your daily life, okay? Thank you, hope you're having a great day.